Hello, listener. Thank you for acquiring this radio system. We are going to calibrate your device. Great. Now, if any time during calibration you want to pause, you can. Let's try it out. Press the menu button to pause and open the menu. So, with this radio system, you can navigate through different radio stations and interact with their hosts. Depending on what info you give them, you might even get a reaction. Want to know how it works exactly? Let's try this. I need you to find the answer to this question. Who is the number one radio DJ? I bet you can find the answer on another station. Let's try that. You can change the station you're listening to by pressing the change station buttons. Ah, and welcome. Glad you switched over. I think my colleague asked you to look for something here, right? Guess what? I have the answer to their question. The answer lies somewhere in the following clips. When you think you found it, you can record it by pressing the record button. Don't worry, I'll repeat the info a couple of times for you. So, here's some info about the stations on your radio system. We have News One with its main host, Fred Peterson. Here you'll find global news, reports and interviews. Fresh FM is hosted in the morning by Michelle. Fresh FM is hosted in the morning by Michelle, the number one radio DJ. You recorded something great. Now, you might have heard me repeat some sentences. <laughs> Let's face it, that can be a bit annoying. Thankfully, you have the possibility to skip clips if you want to navigate faster through a station. To do so, just press the fast forward button and you'll skip the clip being played. Let's try it out. I'll tell you three things. You skip each of them by pressing the fast forward button. Michelle on Fresh FM has a sidekick named Bob, who hosts the show with her. There are many more radio frequencies, but not all of them are easy to find or listen to. I hope you like music, because many of our radio stations play awesome tunes. As much as I like repeating myself, I need you to skip those clips to keep on calibrating your radio. Let's try it out. I'll tell you three things. You skip each Michelle on Fresh FM. There are many more. I hope you like music. Nice one. Now, remember the clip you recorded before about the number one DJ? If you forgot what you recorded, don't worry. Press the listen button to listen to your recorded clip. Fresh FM is hosted in the morning by Michelle, the number one radio DJ. All right, we're almost done. It's time to send your answer to the other station. Please switch back to my colleague by pressing the change station buttons. The question was, who is the number one radio DJ? You can send your clip to me by pressing the send button. Fresh FM is hosted in the morning by Michelle, the number one radio DJ. Oh yes, Michelle, I remember now. Just kidding, I already knew that. She's my favorite too, but thank you for sending me the clip. By the way, there was a specific beep when you sent me the clip. When you hear this sound, it means you won't be able to interact with your radio anymore. It will happen before every important announcement. Just pay extra attention to what is broadcasted then. Just to be sure you understand, I need you to try to interact with your device. Go ahead, anything will do. See, nothing happened. Those moments are here to make sure you don't miss out on important content. Before we leave you to the real radio shows out there, remember that you can pause the game and access the menu anytime by pressing the menu button. In this menu, you'll find useful options to customize your experience. There is also a gesture reminder if you forget how to use your radio. Finally, you can replay this tutorial in the menu anytime you want, so don't worry if you feel lost, we'll be there. Thank you again for purchasing this radio system. Don't forget to put it to good use and send clips to your favorite hosts. You're currently listening to Winston. I can't reveal more about...
We have to keep our radio frequency hidden or the police will... Some of you know the truth. Some of you have even found us. Find somebody who knows about all secrets. Ask him the right question. Unlock our frequency. Find the truth. It's 7 o'clock on News One, and here are the headlines with Fred Peterson. Today, Foreign Minister Macmillan is scheduled to talk to other foreign ministers in a highly anticipated meeting. She will have to develop an understanding about the status of international trade policies. We have to keep our radio frequency. If the time loop is implemented. Four people were arrested after reports of terrorist threats. According to the police, the four men are part of a so-called piracy group dedicated to disrupting society. The police is now investigating their means of communication and facing new questions. If a secret group uses radio waves to share information, can they hide their frequency? The University of Amentos has been rewarded the prestigious award for teaching excellence. Vice-Chancellor of the University, Irene Boulay, expressed her gratitude during a speech she made last night. And, with only a couple of days to go before the vote, cities throughout the country are preparing for long lines at the voting office. According to government officials, the amount of voting locations will be 16% higher compared to last year's general elections. Traffic info. Slow-moving traffic in the usual places. No other specifics or traffic jams at the moment. Weather today will be mostly sunny, with some low clouds coming in from the south later this afternoon. Thanks for listening, everyone. Later this morning, do hidden radio frequencies exist? And if so, how do we unlock them? In the second part of our show, we'll discuss whether this is a myth or a real technological possibility. Also, stay tuned for our daily review of the newspaper headlines. Today with special guest Mark Hillard, who recently swam the channel to raise money for vaccine safety research. Plus, overcrowding on the tracks. How will railways survive the growing number of travellers? It's a full hour of news to get you up to speed with everything that's happening in the world. But first, over to our reporter on location, Tommy Begay. <laughs> Every Monday, Tommy visits a location where the news of the future is being made. Where are you today, Tommy? Thanks, Fred. I'm here at the Galena Layer Poultry Farm, where the owners have found a revolutionary new way to care for their chickens. Revolutionary? Right. And in which way? Well, Fred, I'm sure you know that laying hens, however cute and fluffy they look, contribute a lot of harmful gas to the ozone layer. The owners of Galena have found a way to diminish these gases through purely biological means. And there is more. Galena Farm claims to have a cure for bird flu. A newly developed special mix of herbs eradicates any chance of flu. Farmers turned pharmacists. Is that something we want? Well, Fred, if it's safe, why not? But is it? Let's ask the farmers. While Tommy walks up to the farm, let me remind you that we have more discussions. Find somebody who knows about all secrets. Ask him the right question. Unlock our frequency. Find the truth. Glorious start of the week, and you've tuned in to the best radio station around. Your number one radio DJ. Michelle. Don't worry if you've got that Monday morning back to school blues. We'll have you cheered up in no time. With the latest showbiz news, hot new music. And hot old Bob. You've got the old part right. <laughs> All right. It's the fresh breakfast mix. <laughs> Bob, my trusty old sidekick, here's one Monday question just for you. How was your weekend? Went to Club Dynamite on Saturday. Pretty cool. Nice. You? I've just been chilling at home, mainly. Boring. 
When your life's as exciting as mine, you deserve a quiet weekend in. Anyway, a new week. Should we talk about what's coming up over the next couple of days? You mean the time loop vote? I actually meant the ultimate dance party this Friday. I'm so hyped. Oh, that. Let's not bore people with voting stuff on here. I'm already fed up with the subject anyway. It's like you say, boring. It's important to vote. Let your voice be heard and all that. Sure, please. Uh, everyone, go out and vote. It's your democratic duty. And the duty of our show is to have some fun in the morning. So that's what we'll do right after this. Tired of thinking about your daily hygiene? Our new Sungate electrical toothbrushes now have a timer system. Simply set up the timer once, then get beeped three times a day when it's time to brush. Sungate toothbrushes. Say yes to routine. Fresh FM. Just for you listeners out there, Michelle was coughing like a madwoman during the commercials. I've got to be honest, Shell. You sounded like a hungover baby seal. Don't worry, babe. I'm not dying yet. Just a case of the flu. Nothing an early night won't fix. Should we find you some medicine? We can't have you losing your voice. Who will present the show then? Not you, obviously. You know what they say. Once a sidekick, always a sidekick. <laughs> Nobody could replace you anyway. You're the highest paid radio DJ in the country. Allegedly. Anyway, back to the show. We have a world premiere today for you. In 30 seconds, we'll play you Dog Zone's new single. You're... I'll find some ask him the right... It's Monday! It's NSB in the morning. Well, well, I guess it's that time again. I'm NSB. This is a morning show. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. You know the deal. The rant of the day. So, let's discuss the working week. It's Monday morning, which means that most of you will have said something like, I can't believe it's Monday again. At least like twice already. On Wednesday, Wednesday, you'll repeat to every colleague and family member how happy you are that the week is now well and truly halfway done. On Friday, you buy a discounted can of beer on the commute home to celebrate that it's the weekend again. <clears throat> Woohoo. Can we just stop measuring our existence for your stupid little time units? Why not mix it up a bit, hmm? Start your week on Thursday. You'll have a midweek break from work then. Or, I don't know, buy a beer on Monday to celebrate the start of the week. Be creative. Don't be a slave of the corporate calendar. But if that's what you want to be, well, don't call me to complain about it. That's my rant of the day. You're very welcome. And with that, the lines are open! All right, you know what to do. Oh, and what not to do. NSB here. Who's calling? It's a nun here. Well, if it isn't my favorite conspiracy theorist, go ahead. I mean, I prefer truth seeker. Yeah, sure, whatever you'd like. So, what crazy theories do you have for us today? Oh, and uh, listeners, please tell me if you want to ask Anon anything. <laughs> he knows about every secret there is, you know, apparently. Yeah, so, you know we're voting on the implementation of the time loop at the end of this week, right? Don't remind me. Oh, no, I am reminding you. Everybody should be reminded. It's another step on the way to total government control. Let me guess. We should all vote no. They're trying to influence you in any way they can. All politicians lie. What else is new? Don't forget, dear listeners, that you can ask this guy questions, too. Basically... Please, please send questions so I don't have to. It's subliminal messaging. They mask it, but it's everywhere. On the streets, in public service announcements, commercials. Secret messages. Exactly. So, what you're saying is by the end of the week we'll all be voting yes because we've been influenced without us even knowing. Hmm? I'm telling you, they'll stop at nothing. This is only the beginning. Well, they won't get me. <laughs> because I won't be voting anyway. Anything more to add, Anon? Yeah, lots. I've heard that... Oh! Oh! Oh my! Well, what do you know? We just lost contact with Anon. I'll 
finds ask him to Find somebody who knows about all secrets. Ask him the right question. Unlock our free... It's 7 o'clock on News 1, and here are the headlines with Fred Peterson. Today, Foreign Minister Mc... She will have to develop an understanding. Four people were arrested after report... According to the police, the... The police is now invest. If a secret group uses radio, if a secret group uses radio waves to share information, can they hide their frequency? The University of Amentos has been. Re the Wigan again. <clears throat> Woohoo! Can we just stop measuring our existence for your stupid little time units? Why not mix it up a bit? Hmm? Start your week on the. Or uh, I don't know. Buy. A Be creative. Don't be a slave of the corporate cat. That's my rant. And with that, NSB here. Who's calling? It's Anon here. Well, if it isn't my... I mean, I prefer Truth Seeker. Yeah, sure, whatever you'd like. So, what... Oh, and uh, listeners, please tell me if you want to ask Anon anything. <laughs> he knows about every secret there is, you yeah, know, apparently. Ah, looks like we've got a proper question for our dear friend Anon. If a secret group uses radio waves to share information, can they hide their frequency? Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Now, we are getting somewhere. Uh, you're getting a bit overexcited. But this is the real deal. Listen, there are empty frequencies in the airwaves, frequencies that seem unused. Let me guess, they're not. Exactly. Sources say that if you record one particular sound, you decode the entire frequency and reveal its true nature. Isn't that magical? It's not magic. The public encryption key is hidden behind the audio file. And you officially lost me there. 
believe me or not, the last frequency I decoded was protected by the sound of broken glass. I recorded it on my radio and voila. All the station managers are going to be so happy that we've just encouraged people to switch over to empty frequencies, pushing our already flailing market share further down the drain. Nice. Thanks, mate. Well, I... Oh, oh, oh my. Well, what do you know? I'll find somebody who knows about all... Ask him... If you're listening to this, it means you have found us. Congratulations. You have taken the first step in your awakening. You have connected. You are being lied to so much more than you know. The time loop is already in place. The vote is irrelevant. We are already repeating ourselves. Those who control the present control the future. Keep listening. Keep sharing. Reclaim time. We've uncovered new information that needs to be shared. Information that is too important not to get out there. We're counting on you, our friends, to spread the information. We need your network. We need your power. Here are the facts. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop activist, and violator of human rights, actually leads the group that activated the time loop. Amal McMillan is the person who ordered to activate the time loop prematurely. She should be confronted and unmasked. She acted without democratic consent, and even though she will deny all this, we know this to be true. Spread the news and make sure it sticks beyond the time loop. Our own organization is still small, but your help will make us grow. Your help will make us reach the news stations. They've not yet reported on these conspiracies. They ignore our messages, but eventually they will have to listen. If there are many of us, we will not be ignored. So keep trying. Hear this fact and pass it on. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop activist, and shameless violator of human rights, leads the group that activated the time loop. We'll start small if needed. If the news stations won't listen, others will. And then they will spread the word. And then others will. Until we can't be denied anymore. I might sound like a madman to you. Hell, I sound like a minister. But this is real. I am real. We all are. I'm here, talking to you. Not because I'm special. I'm just a normal citizen, like you. We all are here. We're just a group of concerned citizens who don't want to be lied to anymore. Help us. Try to reach the news station. Try it via other stations if that's what's needed. Use small stations if you need to. Start at the bottom and work the message up. All the way to the top. Connect with them on subjects that they're interested in. Match their worries, their concerns, their subjects. Find the message that will make them take you seriously. And tell them. Tell them about the conspiracy. Tell them that we are being lied to. Please spread this important fact. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop activist, and shameless violator of human rights, leads the group that activated the time loop. We will continue with our underground actions. And when the time comes, when we have enough people rallied, we will rise up. We will show them that we know what's going on. We will make them suffer. So help us before the loop resets again and things are forgotten. You can make an impact. You can change little things. You just need to do it. You just need to do it. Spreading the news about the time. We've uncovered new. Station inspector. Please switch tracks. Keep an eye out on that red signal. Slight delays. Mac. Come in. Mac. 
783 on green. Maybe one for Mac. Why has platform 12 not been cleared? Please respond. Over. We have two trades waiting to come in. Please clear platform. Over. Any empty platform will do, friends. Just reel that train in, please. Thank you very much for doing your bloody job. Imagine what would happen if we all did that, right? <laughs> I want to see those asses at HQ look at our results this week and just be very quiet out of sheer admiration. What's that? 98.8% on time? Yes, let's see them do better. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Yeah, I'll remember that for the speech at your funeral. Uh-huh. On time, yes. But what about the 722? Maybe one for platform assistance. Please stand by. Time loop? I don't know. Haven't thought about it. Brace yourselves. I feel another overall of the timetable coming up. How long is that time loop going to be? Will we still be arriving in time? Shit, will we even arrive at all? Geez, I'm now seeing visions of trains leaving the station, only to start their journey over and over again and never arriving. Damn. Mac, any ideas? Uh-huh. 7.22, yeah, sure. Mac? How will... Mac, do you have any more info on this? Over. Mac? Uh, platform 2, yes. I've done this for 24 years, Mac. 25 in 3 months. So if... What? Everyone here, uh, anyone up for, uh, for a drink after work today, yeah? Over. rated their concern about our country's unilateral implementation of the time loop if the vote on Friday is positive. Minister Macmillan has promised to provide them with extra details, but has also said, quote, foreign politics should not influence the will of our nation, unquote. A printing factory in the South used by the government to print voting ballots went up in flames last night. Two victims were killed, both of them employees of the factory. It's unclear whether the ballots for the upcoming time loop vote were affected. The police and the fire department are currently investigating. Weather today, cloudy with low temperatures in the south and a small chance of rain during the night. And finally, you'll be happy to know that our listener comment system is back online, so you'll be able to send us your messages again. In the studio, we have physician scientist Charlie Thomas. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Professor Thomas, you've been researching the effects of a possible time loop on public health, am I correct? Yes. You have to remember, it's all very academic, though. We've researched an, at this moment, fictitious situation, after all. Together with our colleagues from the physics department, we have developed models to simulate a possible time loop. Your report mentions brain tumors. Should we be worried? Let me put it this way. Think of our report as a medication information leaflet. Are you talking about side effects? R regarding the brain tumor, chances have been proven to be incredibly slim, even in a test environment. So in real life, a brain tumor could be more likely. You're, you're twisting my words. I'm not saying anything that is not in your report already, surely. N no, but you are emphasizing something that isn't relevant. If this time loop could have a negative impact on our health, don't you agree that the public needs to know this before they vote? I don't think it's something they should base their vote on. Our research is still very preliminary. We've barely scratched the surface. It's far too early to draw any conclusions. Okay, I understand. What about possible positive side effects? 
we actually had a couple of mice that aged slower, so that could be very beneficial. There was also an interesting fact about headaches. Indeed, some of our test subjects experienced a very specific type of headache, one that we hadn't seen before, which is interesting because we think this could lead to a breakthrough in the related area of migraine research. Has your research influenced your own opinion on the implementation of the time loop? I'm not giving out advice on how to vote if that's what you're looking for. I'm a scientist, not a politician. But if you can't advise us, who can? The government does a lot in terms of public information. But they're no scientists. They choose out of ideology or for economic reasons. Several foreign heads of... This. Say yes to routine. It's time for my favorite segment. Yay! It's time for Tall Tales. Today, we're calling Rakeem, who has an amazing story to tell. It's ringing! Yes? Is that Rakeem? This is Michelle from Fresh FM. You're live on the radio. Wow. Bob here, Rakeem. Bit shy, are you? No need to be. Your story sure isn't. Your story is one of the tallest tales we've ever heard. Our tall tale meter has been set up and calibrated, so bring it on. You know the deal. Just tell the story and the meter will rank it. And if you make the top five, you get a top prize. Right. So, Rakeem, tell us your tall tale. Well, uh... Out with it, babe. I'm dying with excitement here. I know, but... Shit. Chickening out, Rakeem? No, of course not, man. Okay, let's help you out a bit. Your story involves a sauna and one of your teachers, right? I don't want to tell the story. Rakeem, what's happening, babe? It's not true. It's a lie. I'm sorry, Michelle. Shit, man. You're too good for this world. So what? You're bailing out? I guess so. Thanks for messing up our segment, bro. No, no, no. We respect you. Thanks for being honest. Rakeem? Sure. Can I hang up now? Bye, Rakeem. That was so unnecessary. I mean, this segment is called Tall Tales, right? The name should give you some sort of clue. Calm down, Bob. Who cares if the story's true, as long as the story's a big and preferably funny, too. Let's ask the listeners. What's your opinion on lying? Send us your statement on the subject. <sighs> All we wanted was a great story. Should we go to some music? We could just call somebody else. I don't feel like it. I'm putting the call tales meter away. I need some coffee. You and me both. Okay, might as well play some music. On it. Fresh FM. Sungate toothbrushes. Say. Campus Radio Amentos by students for students. We're live three times a week. Hi, fellow students, elitists, and future decision makers. It's your girl Kaya here, joined by the ever awesome Jenny. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll hear from her later. So, you know we are all about discussion here. There's some big shit going down this week, so if you want to talk about it, drop us a message anytime. Jenny? Uh, at the end of this week, voting stations will open on the subject of the time loop. So, if you haven't thought about what to vote yet, start thinking now. Don't think it doesn't affect you, because it will. This vote is all about our future. Don't let others decide for you. It's time our voices were heard, too. There is no excuse. There will be a voting station inside of the campus grounds, main auditorium of Building A, to be precise. Be there. 
I'll be there as a member of the polling staff, handing out ballots. Another great reason to go and vote. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Girl, you're awesome. Anyone should jump on the opportunity to meet you at the voting office and talk to you in person. Thanks. But seriously, get informed. Don't believe everything you hear, but start researching. You owe it to yourself and to the rest of the nation. We'll be talking about the vote all week, so if you have thoughts or opinions on the time loop, let us know. We need to find out how this time loop will impact our lives. The pro and con time loop groups are trying to reel us in with their arguments, but we all know that election talk can be, well, <sighs> bullshit. We are trying to get to the truth between the propaganda. So send us any snippet of info you have and we will discuss it open-mindedly. Promise. Meanwhile, here are some official campus announcements. The West Canteen will be closed all week due to refurbishments. So if you're hungry, make sure to get over to the East Canteen early because it will be packed. Also, the Study Advice Center has extended its opening times due to high demands. Starting this week, they'll also be open on Wednesday and Thursday evening. If you're worrying about study results or mental health or life in general, go and see them. They can help you. Believe me, I'm speaking from experience. I have an announcement from Carthage, the Society of History Students. Carthage, of which you are the proud chairwoman. I am the chairperson, yes. In two weeks, we are organizing a discussion night on the history of knowledge. What's the history of knowledge, exactly? Well, basically, society has learned from other Alright, this is going to be a short rant. You know when you're in line to buy something and there's lots of people behind you? Next time, take your f***ing money out of your purse before it's your turn. I mean, it's not like you have anything else to do while waiting. Thank you on behalf of the people behind you. Oh, it's going to be an interesting morning because we have a special guest today. Why don't you introduce yourself? Please welcome my new co-host, Sadie. Sadie hasn't found her radio voice yet, but uh, a bowl of water should do the trick. So, uh, basically, the station management has been suggesting we should find a co-host for, well, for ages now. Apparently, according to data, shows with two presenters are more successful. So, in order to improve the ratings, I would need a co-host. Preferably a woman, <laughs> obviously. And that's where Sadie comes in. Don't you, girl? <coughs> I don't even know if she's really called that. <laughs> I, I just thought she looked like a Sadie. I took her off the streets this morning. She doesn't have a collar, so I guess she's a stray. But, well, if you're listening and your dog is missing, tough. <coughs> Anyway, Sadie's specialty is answering questions about the government. So, if you have any, please send them in, and Sadie will bark once for yes and twice for no. Am I on? Yeah, I think it's a disgrace picking up a stray dog just for laughs. She must be terrified and overheated with all those studio lights. Studio lights? Hey, we're not on TV, mate. If we were, you could have seen that Sadie's wagging her tail. Next! You must think you're so funny with a female dog. I thought you were a feminist. Asshole. Feminism is so overrated. I'm just pro-humans in general. Oh yeah, and dogs. Next! And can I just remind you all that Sadie's specialty is answering yes-no questions on the subject of the government. So, please help us raise the quality of this show and send us your questions! Yes, hello, my name is Maria. I used to have a dog, a brown one. Uh, well, this one's off-white. My boy, my sweet, loyal boy, he slept at the side of my bed, you know? And then one day he was gone. They never told me where he went. I bet he ran away. My son, he ran away when he was 12. But he came back, I think. He visits me, but I don't recognize him. Sorry, lady, I think you might need another number. Uh, really, are you all right? I mean, do we need to send somebody over? Oh, no, they're all here. They keep repeating things. ...of the day needs to be shared.
information that is too important not to get out there. Here are the facts. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop act. Amal McMillan is the person she acted with. Spread the news. Our own organization have not yet reported. If there are many, hear this fact. Amal McMillan, politician. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop activist, and shameless violator of human rights, leads the group that activated the time loop. We'll start small if needed. Let's see them. Together with me involves a sauna and me. <laughs> Girl, you... Thanks. But seriously, you owe it to yourself. We'll be talking about the vote all week, so if you have thoughts or opinions on the time loop, let us know. We need to find out how this time loop will impact our lives. Amal McMillan, politician, pro-time loop activist, and shameless violator of human rights, leads the group that activated the time loop. Wait, what? Are you hearing this, Jenny? Mm, sorry, I was distracted for a bit. That sounded... Never mind. We said we would take all opinions on this subject seriously, so that is what we'll do. If this is true, it's big. Wow. Are we being lied to? Are we being lied to by the government? This is a scoop, Jenny. We need to investigate the shit out of this. I know. Stu Maria, I used to have a dog. Uh, my boy, London. One I bet he ran away. My, but I don't recognize him. Sorry, lady. Oh no, they're all here. They keep repeating things. Of the day. All right, you know when you're in love. Next time, I mean, it's thank you, boy. <laughs> Please welcome mine. <laughs> Sadie hasn't found so, uh, basically, apparently, so, in order to... And that's where Sadie... I don't even know if she doesn't have a... Con anyway, Sadie's a special... So, if you have any, please, send them in. And Sadie will bark once for yes, and twice for no. Are we being lied to by the government? Sadie, this one's for you, darling. Bark once for yes, twice for no. I guess Sadie is still undecided. Meanwhile, let's ponder on the idea of lying for a bit. Remember I told you I picked Sadie up off the streets this morning? In fact, my canine sidekick is actually my producer's. She brought her dog to work today, and I thought it'd be fun to wind up the station managers a bit. <laughs> and you listeners, obviously. Wow, wasn't that honest of me? Well, guess what? I lied, and it was fun. So, so... Here's my statement, and feel free to repeat it. There is nothing wrong with lying every now and again. Yeah. An official. The music! On it. Sungate toothbrush. It's, it's time for Tall Tales. Today, we're calling Rakeem. Yes? Is that Rakeem? What? Bob here, Rakeem. Your story... Our tall tale meter has been set up. You know the... Right. So, Rakeem, tell us... What? Out with it, babe. I'm chickening out. No. Okay, let's help... I don't want to tell... Rakeem. It's not true. Shit, man. So what? Thanks for messing up our... No, 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 we... Sure. Five. That was so unnecessary. I mean, this calm. Who cares if the story's true? As long as the story's... Let's ask the listeners. What's your opinion on lying? Send us your statement on the subject. Meanwhile, our listeners sent us this. <sighs> so, here's my statement, and feel free to repeat it. There is nothing wrong with lying every now and again. Do you agree, Shell? Well, let me tell you a story. I was supposed to go out with my friend yesterday, but she canceled. Bummer. You should have called me instead. You wish. Anyway, so my friend said she was having... So my friend said she was having pulsating headaches because the time loop has already been implemented. And it's messing with her mind. Sounds like something, man. Exactly. I just didn't want... Help us raise the quality impact. For, I'm a scientist, not a politician. But if you can't advise us, who can? The government does a lot in terms of public information. Just a second. We've received an interesting message. So, my friend said she was having pulsating headaches because the time loop has already been implemented. 
and it's messing with her mind. Pulsating headaches. This sounds very much like something you found in your research. It does. But since the time loop hasn't been implemented yet, this is most likely something else. To be honest, we've gotten some messages from listeners who seem adamant that the time loop has already been implemented. And you have investigated this? No, we've not discussed this until now because, obviously, we have a duty to stick to the facts and not spread uninvestigated rumours. Oh, obviously, and I certainly don't want to add fuel to stories like that. But this individual with headache symptoms could be the missing link we're looking for. I have to be honest, I am intrigued. My science heart is beating faster, so to say. And my investigative journalism heart. If you're the person experiencing the headaches, please get in touch. I feel we have a moral duty to investigate this. Also, Minister Amal McMillan is in the studio tomorrow. I'll personally see to it that we discuss these details with her. I won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. That's my promise to you as a journalist.